Capital TV, I'm Kasim Hassan Ali. Traffic Commandant Charlton Muriti says he'll hand over the findings of his investigations into the fatal road accident said to involve a pastor on Friday. Muriti says the police have taken the statement to Nairobi pastor James Nganga, who has been linked to the July 26th accident. Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet tasked Muriti with carrying out the investigation following reports that the Tigoni police may have covered up Nganga's role in the accident. The woman who was killed in the accident involved a Range Rover Nganga had been accused of driving was laid to rest yesterday. In July 2015, the Inspector General of the National Police Service gave me instructions to personally take over the investigation of the fatal road accident that happened on 26th July 2015 at Mango in the Muru which led to the sad demise of Masingeri. In each one, Pastor Nganga has variously been named as being responsible. I was further instructed to ensure that the investigations are not only expedited, but are carried out afresh in an impartial, meticulous, and thoroughly professional manner, with a view of ensuring that everyone Anyone found culpable, irrespective of their standing in society, must face the full, face of the full force of the law. Following the instructions, I proceeded to the accident scene at Tigoni Police Station, made that examination of the scene and collected additional materials, including recording of other witness statements. I have also done and initiated extensive forensic investigations of the two vehicles and forwarded other material evidence for advanced scientific examination, which will aid in our investigations. I was equally instructed to subject the original case file to thorough examination with a view of ensuring that the prescribed procedures pertaining to preservation of evidence of accident scenes was adhered to and that all police officers who were in any way involved conducted themselves professionally. Short of which, sanctions both disciplinarily as well as court will apply. I wish also to state that I am under instruction to finalize this file on or before the 7th of August this year and forward it through normal police channel to the Director of Public Prosecution. I wish further to reiterate that anyone, whether a police officer or any other person who will be found culpable of any form of wrongdoing in connection with this accident, will be dealt with according to the law. Former Chief Register for Judiciary Gladys Bosch-Shule has been charged for floating procurement law for the purchase of a house for the Chief Justice. Shule is, however, yet to, to plead to the charges with her lawyer informing the court that she is out of the country. Six others she charged alongside denied the charges and were released on a 1.5 million shilling bond each with the alternative of paying 600,000 shillings in cash bail. Sholoi is expected to take her plea on August 24th when the matter comes up for mention. Sholoi is charged alongside her former deputy Kakai Kissinger, who chaired the tender committee that sanctioned the 310 million shilling Runda house purchase. At least 310 Kenyans have been killed and 215,000 have been forced from their home in ethnic violence in northern Kenya. The number killed and forced to flee in the first six months of this year is already the same as the total of all the 2014 according to a UN report. Some of the worst violence has been between Pokot and the Turkana communities as well as between the Turkana and Samburu people. In May, some 75 people were killed in just four days of cattle raids and revenge attacks. Two children aboard a boat that capsized in Lake Victoria died on Wednesday. Homer Bay County Commander John Omusanga says the midnight incident occurred when the boat from Remba Island in Homer Bay County collided head-on with a fishing boat. Omusanga says the passenger boat with 30 people on board was headed to Sori in Migori County. 
Police say several people have been rescued, but fear more deaths could be reported as the search and rescue mission continues. President Kenyatta and former President Mwai Kibaki attended a funeral service of Jomo Kenyatta's former AD de Camp on Wednesday. President Kenyatta described the late retired Brigadier Samuel Masharia as a man devoted to his job. He remembered him as never have missed a single Jomo Kenyatta memorial after serving him between 1973 and 78. In business, China Southern Airlines has launched its flights from Guangzhou to Nairobi. The airline made its maiden landing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport from Guangzhou on Wednesday. Under a code share with the Kenya Airways, both airlines will provide 20 flights per week on the new route. China Southern Airlines chairman Si Xianmin says the additional flights will increase the number of businesses and leisure travelers from Asia to Africa. And finally, in sports, former World Marathon record holders Wilson Kipsang and Takla Dorupe walked to the finish line of the 840-kilometer walk for peace. Ethiopian running legend Haile Gabriel Selassie will join the walkers as they complete the 22-day trek on Thursday on the shores of Lake Baringo. Ethiopia borders northern Kenya and armed cattle herders launch raids either sides of the porous frontier. Well, and that has been your Capital FM online TV news. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Capital FM Kenya. I've been your host, Kasi Hassan Ali. Good evening.